What's good y'all, it's Taylor Boy and I'm here with Baby Audio today to show you the brand new BA1 synth. Today, I'm gonna create some sounds from scratch using the synth, so let's do it. First things first, let's go ahead and initialize the preset by clicking this button at the top right, reset. Okay, so by default, we have a saw waveform. And I'm gonna bring in the second oscillator. By doing so, let's bring out this crossfade. And let's go ahead and change the waveform to saw. So we got two oscillators that are saw waves, and it sounds like this. So um, one of my favorite things to do is detune the oscillators. So on the second oscillator, let's go ahead and bring down this pitch fader. I'm gonna bring it down about negative 15, let's do 15. And it sounds like this. I'm gonna skip over FM and the, and the filter and let's go to the envelope right now and let's create like a pad sound. So with the pad, you're gonna want a slower attack. You wanna turn that decay up just a little bit, bring down that sustain, and you wanna turn up that release. Let's do the cutoff fader. Let's bring it down a little bit and let's see what we get. Yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. Let's engage that envelope a little bit. Let's bring it up. Let's bring up some resonance. Let's see what we get now. Let's make it move a little bit. Let's add some LFO. So I want to sync it to my BPM. So I hit the speed button and turn it to sync. Let's turn it up to 1 16th. And let's turn up the amount just a little bit. You know, well, I'll show you how it sounds when you got to turn it up a lot. Let's see. But let's just turn it down because I want a subtle LFO, okay? Perfect. Let's turn up the brightness. Let's give it some delay. Let's give it some reverb. And one of my favorite things to do is add chorus. Let's go ahead and do it. One last thing, let's bring down the battery percentage. Nice. All right, our second sound is gonna be a bass. Let's, let's make like a funk. 80s bass, you know, Juno vibe. So let's reset the synth, initialize patch. Let's go ahead and bring it down one oscillator to get in bass territory. Go ahead and bring in that second oscillator. And this is a square wave. Let's go ahead and bring it down one more octave as well. Let's turn it to mono. Go ahead and use the cutoff frequency. I'm gonna bring that sustain on the envelope and I'm gonna bring up the envelope fader and I'm gonna mess with the decay. So, I'm gonna go down one more octave on my keyboard. I'll bring up the sustain just a little bit. Let's bring in some resonance. The dark tone fader, let's go ahead and bring it up and add some low end. Let's add some chorus. Let's do a square bell. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the envelope and turn up the release. And let's take it up an octave on the oscillator. Let's bring in the second oscillator. Let's go ahead and detune the second one. And it's gonna be a square as well. And let's take it up one octave. Let's bring up that FM and let's see what we get. That. Let's turn on some chorus, why not? Let's give it some reverb. Let's give it some delay. Mm -hmm. 
our last sound let's go ahead and make a lead i'm thinking like a west coast square lead so let's go ahead initialize preset let's turn it into a square let's do mono now what makes a good lead is glide so how you do so is by adding in the gliss take it up one oscillator Let's bring in a second oscillator. Let's go ahead and do another square and let's take it up one octave. Let's detune it about 15. Let's give it some chorus. Turn down that battery just a tad bit. Let's give it some reverb. Let's give it some delay. Let's turn up that brightness just a tad bit. Let's see what we get. 